Hi friends, this is Dr. Vinay Kumar once again to meet you all. There were many phone calls to me after BSC after viewing my videos. There were some parents who called me and then asked me why I was not doing videos on parenting. So I thought I will do a series of videos on parenting. I hope all the parents will like this and may be able to get a bit of tips also about parenting. Now one of the things that I thought was this, if you want to become a teacher, you have to be getting a training. If you want to become a doctor, professionally you have to be qualified, a lawyer, let it be any profession you will be getting a proper training to become that profession. Profession, But think about parenting. You're going to become a parent. Is there anybody giving you any training? I don't think there is anybody getting a training while becoming a parent. And that is one of the main reasons that many of us are not becoming good fathers and good mothers. We don't know how to take care of the children. So I thought I will give you a series of talks on good parenting. Now in that good parenting series, this is the first video that I want to present it to you. Here today in my video, I would like to tell you some of the mistakes that the parents do quite often. Yes, we do a lot of mistakes. We are the ones who will have to correct the children, but we do a lot of mistakes. Unfortunately, those mistakes will be noticed by the children too. And it's a very embarrassing situation, you see. We don't like to be criticized for our mistakes. But when we see a mistake in a child, we immediately criticize, we shout, we punish. Okay, forget about that. Let us see. From, from the beginning, I would like to tell you what are the mistakes and I would call it as the stupid mistakes that the parents make. The first in my list is the broken promises. By telling broken promises itself, you will understand what I mean. Yes, you see, when we want the children to do something else, immediately we promise them something else. We promise them that we would take them for a picnic, we would take them to a hill station, we will buy you a chocolate, a five star, an eclairs, whatever it is. But we do promise the child certain things just to extract the work from the children. And sometimes the parents very well know that we will not be able to fulfill that promise. But in spite of that, Many of us do promise the child, I will get you that, I will buy you this. Sometimes a child will be asking for your mobile phone. I just want to play the games, so please give me the mobile phone. And immediately, um, maybe unwillingly you will be giving the mobile phone. But after some time when the child is not giving you the phone or child is refusing to eat food or something like that, you promise me if you eat this one, I will definitely get you a mobile phone next year giving a hope in the minds of the child, in the minds of the children rather. And what happens? You may forget that, but the child doesn't forget. The child keeps it in his or her mind. And when next year comes, if you don't fulfill that particular promise, it becomes a broken promise. So this is the first mistake the parents make, a broken promise promising something which the parents know that they are not able to fulfill. You rather don't promise at all then. If you are not able to fulfill a promise, please don't promise because the children will not have faith in you. They will disbelieve you. Whatever you tell, they know that is not going to happen. After all, daddy is telling like this is not going to happen. And so don't promise 
which you cannot fulfill is the first mistake the second mistake your criticism what you criticize the child maybe uh, we'll take an example of uh, the child bringing his test paper to you getting low mark or average mark or very high mark let it be any any mark but what i tell is the way the parent criticizes the child i know a parent he wants his child to get center marks in all the subjects he wants only 100% marks he wants his child to be the best and so one day when the child brought 98 on 100 the mark uh, in maths the first question that the father asked the child was what happened to those two marks what is that that was a question asked by the parent the child with so much difficulty managed to get 95 out sorry 98 out of 100 and just lost two marks and the parent wanted to get those two marks instead of appreciating those 98 marks the parent asked about the two marks that the child did not score and then the next step look at that boy who stays uh, in the next house how did he manage to get 99 this is a sort of comparison comparing one child with another child your child is your child that child is that child your child is unique in many ways and that child is unique in many ways many ways and this child cannot become that child if your child has some talent that child may not have the same talent he may be talented in something else so there is no point in uh, uh, comparing this child with the other child please don't compare and when the comparison comes only the criticism comes so don't criticize rather appreciate when the child gets 98 try to appreciate definitely in the next examination the child will try to score 99 or 100 marks and that is the only way that you can make the child improve his or her performance so this is another mistake the parent makes criticizing the child one other criticism also comes to my mind suppose a child does a mistake while while scolding the mistake you restrict the scolding only to that particular event don't drag in a, a something that the child did 4 years back or last year or 5 years back or during the, the childhood time um didn't you do like that 4 uh, years back also please don't tell those things if you want to tell something about a wrong doing of the child mention only that particular incident nothing else don't bring in the past events to that one that also part of criticism so don't do that one limit to what happened at that time this is the second thing criticizing the parent and comparing and the third thing is usually all the parents do this one even i have done and that's why i i make it very very particular when we um, talk to the parents sorry when we talk to the children when the parents talk to the children one of the sentences that we use is how many times have i told you not to do this one how many times have i told you this is one sentence but we quite often use what do you expect the child to tell you at that time daddy you used 25 times this particular sentence do you expect an answer like that so what's the fun in asking the question how many times have i told you please avoid that question because the child cannot answer you and if the child answers to that question you will be more angry so better avoid that question don't ask the how many times question how many times have i told you to get good marks how many times have i told you not to mingle with that boy don't ask that question 
just tell that's enough don't ask the question that how many times the next thing is one mistake that all the parents do is everybody wants his child to be on the top his child should be the best in everything there's no harm in expecting that one but can all the children perform the same way are all the children having the power to use the brain the same way suppose a teacher takes a class your children uh, study uh, there are 25 children studying in a class a teacher takes a class the next day the teacher conducts an examination a test and are all the children getting the same mark why is the marks different why each child is getting different mark because each child is talented in different things if my child can get good marks in english another child can get good marks in maths maybe one other child is very good in paper craft one other child is very good in playing football so all the children are not the same and so we cannot expect our child to be the best in everything appreciate the talent that the child has and try to improve that particular talent let him become the best in that particular area but expecting the child to be the best in all the fields of life is asking for too much and you are giving too much of pressure to the child that the child starts performing less in the area where he is talented and so don't pressurize and don't expect your child to be the best hope for the best but don't expect that the next thing that we all make a mistake is talking to others about our child in a very 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 positive way in front of uh, my relatives i want my child to be the best so i i i will use the word boost i boost the character and behavior of my child to all the others if my child gets second rank in the class i don't like to tell the others that my child has got second rank i just boost it up a little bit i exaggerate a little bit and i tell that my child is the best he got first rank even now now what happens is that your child also is listening to that and he will be under pressure to perform and he knows that my daddy or my mummy is telling a lie to somebody else and indirectly you are telling the child that it's okay to tell a lie it's okay to cover the truth so indirectly you are doing a harm thing to your child and so don't exaggerate things to show that your child is the best among all let him be what he is or let her be what she is that's enough what he or she has increase that the maximum and they will be able to perform in a better way definitely they will be able to perform in a better way these are some of the mistakes that the parents do and whenever the child comes with a mistake don't shout immediately and don't scold immediately don't punish immediately find out what it is let the child know that you are with the child not to support a mistake of your child but let the child know that he can rely on somebody else and he can talk to somebody openly otherwise you know what will happen next time when he suffers uh, anything else he will not be coming to tell you that one or he will not be discussing that at all with you so it is be better to be with him assure that you are with him or you are with her and that assurance can make the child talk to you whenever he or she is in difficulty so these are the things that the, the parents usually do as mistakes i am not telling that all the parents are good parents and i am not telling that all the parents are bad parents but parents are of different type there are very strict parents and there are moderate parents and there are very lenient parents 
we cannot say that one type of parenting is the best it depends on the children and the family atmosphere but whatever it is we all have our good moments and bad moments what we have to try to do is make every moment a happier one in the family and bring happiness and enjoyment in the family atmosphere so that the living becomes a pleasure and your child learns how to be a good person how to be a good parent later when he becomes a parent he will try to imitate you to be a good one this is the least that we can do to our children so happy parenting keep watching my videos i'll be giving you more tips on parenting in the following videos but if you want to see those videos kindly subscribe to my video channel see you again take care till then